dream about working in the fashion industry but have no experience whatsoever, don't count yourself out just yet. Everyone has to start from somewhere, from scratch. So if you're nervous about not having any experience on your resume, or maybe you're transferring to the fashion industry from a different field, I have some tips and tricks for you to overcome that resume hurdle. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some of my top tips and tricks on how to get your first internship or job in the fashion industry with no experience. So if you're ready to get this knowledge, let's jump right in. inventory of your skills. What are you really good at? Are you a really good writer or are you really good at Photoshop? Some of the things that you find easy and come second nature to you might be really difficult to someone else and that might be really valuable on their team. Being a good writer is a really underrated skill in the fashion industry. I mean a lot of our jobs consist of communication with different teams, different people. Being able to articulate your point in written form is super important. That's a transferable skill that can open up the doors to many opportunities parts of the industry such as PR, you're writing press releases, you're hyping up your clients and really promoting them to the press and telling them why they need to be covered in their next magazine article or on that TV segment. Maybe you represent a designer and you're pitching them to be featured on the top summer trend and you land them on TV. That's thanks to you. Having great writing skills also makes you a great candidate to be a fashion editor. I mean, physical magazines aren't as big as they used to be, but now we're getting our news on the daily on the internet. So think about platforms like Who, What, Where, or The Zoe Report, or even Vogue.com. Editors are still out here churning out articles, so there is a place for you. If your strengths lie in software such as Adobe Photoshop or Illustrator, and you just happen to love prints like your girl over here, you can be a textile designer. Companies hire textile designers to create original prints and graphics for their garments. Think about when you go to the store and you buy a printed dress, that repeat print was created by a textile designer. Yes, the silhouette was created by a fashion designer, but the print is created by a textile designer. So even if you've never worked in that particular position before, start creating sample work so when you get to the interview, even though you have no formal experience, you can show them exactly what you can do for them if they hire you. Or when it comes to writing, start writing your own articles. If you dream of being an editor at a particular magazine, really study the way the articles are written on their site or in their magazine now so your writing style kind of mimics theirs and they'll be able to easily see you fitting in on the team. I can't stress enough, start getting these things together now so when opportunities come up, you're ready. Stay ready so you don't have to get ready. If you dream of being a stylist but have never set foot on a set before a day in your life, that is okay. The skills we look for are not even remotely fashion related, honestly. We look for someone who has high attention to detail, highly organized, can think on their feet. It's a very fast-paced environment. Think about what experience you have that can translate to that. So maybe you dress models at your school's fashion shows for the past three years. Or better yet, if you have experience at New York Fashion Week and you know how to handle that fast-paced, crazy environment that's backstage at fashion shows, articulate the skills you learned during those experiences or what responsibilities you took on and how you can translate that to the stylist team. Maybe you were the head of your school's fashion club. That shows that you know how to take on responsibility, you know how to delegate to a team. Those are the makings of a great assistant. Or let's say you held another position at your school. Maybe you were the treasurer of a club or an organization. When I tell you stylists need help keeping track of invoices and receipts, those skills come in so handy. So if you have those skills, put that on your resume because we are looking for you. As a stylist intern or assistant, you're going to be doing a lot of admin work, sending emails, keeping track of invoices, those types of things before you get the opportunity to be on set or be in the fitting. So basically, if you can do anything that makes that stylist life easier, then you're going to be a good asset to that team. And once you prove that you're loyal to that stylist and you didn't just join their team to be around celebrities or go to fashion week parties, then they're going to start giving you more responsibility and more opportunity to do the fun stuff. Next tip is to write a passionate cover letter. A good cover letter is everything and can really differentiate you from the pack of other people applying for that same job. A good cover letter demonstrates your passion as well as your personality. You want to cover what you can bring to the job as well as how much you want that job. So the cover letter is where you let your human side show and explain the things that your resume doesn't. It's where you say, yeah, I know I don't have much formal experience, but this is what I can bring to the table. 
This is why I'm so passionate about your company and your mission, and this is why I want to be a part of your team. So you can really strike an emotional chord with people who are hiring if you really explain why you're the perfect person for the job. Someone who is truly passionate about this field and this job is likely to give more effort than someone who has the experience. Next thing is you want to show your readiness to learn. I mean, the whole purpose of an internship is to learn, right? No one expects you to know everything as an intern. So go ahead and take that pressure off your shoulders now. Focus on your strengths. Last tip, and you've probably heard me say this word a few times by now, research. Research what skills are necessary to succeed in this job so you have a basic understanding of what you need to know at least. Research, really doing your research, can put you way ahead of other applicants and it shows that you're self-motivated and passionate. So don't go into this interview unprepared. I've fortunately gotten to the point in my career where other people want to work for me or work on my team, so I get a lot of resumes and I conduct interviews, and when the person clearly hasn't done their research or know anything about the position, I'm like, why are you wasting both of our time? And it's truly a waste of your time as well. I mean, time is your most valuable asset, so make the most of this interview. For example, I was interviewing someone to be an editor on my website, Fashion Mentor, and when we got to talking, I realized that she thought this was an editorial styling position, but I was like, no, like editor as in writing. So little things like that tell me that you did not read the job description because nowhere in there did I say photo shoot. So make sure that you know what the job you're applying for entails and know the skills that you need to do it. You're really the one in charge of your future and of your destiny. So you have the ability to get the fashion job or internship of your dreams. And especially after following these tips and tricks, girl, I know you're about to kill it at this next interview. So you got this, you got my support. So go out there and make me proud. And if you made it to the end of this video, go ahead and drop a comment telling me what's your dream fashion job. First step is claiming it. So I want to hear from you.